English. Yeah, it's got loads of English. Wow. <laughs> but I don't know what this the study thing is. I just oh, found okay. it in a second hand oh, shop right, here. Okay. It's cheating. Mm. So you weren't I, actually at the study in Munich? No, no. I grew up in Germany. All oh, right. We're not running the video in real time, are we? No. No, 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 no sorry, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> Where is it? We're waiting for three minutes, 45 seconds. Uh. OK. So did you learn English in Germany? Yeah, that's why it uh, sounds so posh. Having been born in... Do you know a lot of Germans learn English with an American accent? You, oh, yes, yes. You've got an English accent. Uh, but lots of bands, British bands take the mickey out of me because mm -hmm. I can't sort of talk the cogni slang and stuff, even though I try. I Cognies don't talk that anyway. Only Madonna, Madonna talks Only Madonna like talks that. Talks <laughs> <it now>. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No one's as English as Madonna is. Oh, that's <laughs> she's true. being English. <laughs> she's is she's sort of really trying hard. Yeah. Yeah, she's shooting she pheasants. Pheasant shooting. <laughs> shooting. Just typical English things like pheasant shooting. No, she was in rules. <laughs> <laughs> she was in rules. Um, she loves rules. BC, yeah. don't she? Loves rules. Has she met the Queen yet? Just no. Maybe no. she would like to, I think. No, bet. the Queen is. She's probably going to get an honorary knight. The Queen has resisted it. <laughs> she <laughs> met Diana, though. She managed to dig her way in there a bit. Um, yeah. And Prince Charles she goes to. She knows Prince Charles. She's mm. been around there a couple of times. Oh, dear. Dear, dear. That's dear, the wrong dear. direction, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think right. so. So did you have, did you have Brittany um, over to see you? Because she, she went to this radio station right this afternoon, and she had the, the building security swept. Do you know about this? No. Uh -huh. mm. what, what does that mean? She was a new to, thing. I, I li I'm sly. I'm sly. And before, an hour before she arrived, five security people came in and security swept the building. So they checked the whole building for bombs and things. That's what you have to do now for a celebrity. It's like Jennifer Lopez went to the most famous restaurant in London, the Ivy. She booked a table an hour before she arrived, or two hours before she arrived. Five guys arrived in the Ivy. Now, everyone eats in the Ivy. Elton John eats in the Ivy. Tony, Tony Blair. Blair. Joan Collins. The Pet Shop Boys. Everyone eats in the <laughs> Ivy. Five security people arrived and said, OK, we're here to security suit the building for J-Lo. <laughs> and they said, such fuck off. Uh. Yes. And they said, and by the way, Jennifer Lopez is banned now. <laughs> I just know this story about Mariah Carey coming to our broadcasting station. And people working there, of course, in the hallways. Yeah. And everybody was told they're not allowed to look at her when she walks past. She doesn't want to be stared at by anybody, whether she's famous. Mm. It's, it's funny, we did talk with the pops and, and Puff Daddy was doing it. And he was in this, we were on the same corridor, the dressing rooms, and I said, if we get any grief from Puff Daddy and his fucking security <laughs> people, I'm just walking off the show. Yeah. And actually, was they were not. really nice. And, you know, and afterwards, he had the best party. He invited us to his it party. It was a fantastic party. And he was well. there. He was there. He, he was not only there, he was on the stage rapping and everything. It was really, really Free great. Styling. Yeah, actually it wasn't. It was, anyway, it was a really great party. Free bar all night, like one of our parties, actually. But wouldn't you consider to do sort of, a, you know, a fast of that and sort of have security checks on other... No, it would be, uh, <laughs> For you? That would be, be fun, wouldn't I mean, we arrive with entourages sometimes, because sometimes we have dancers, and wardrobe people, and the people who do the wigs, and, and the tour manager, and the musicians. And you arrive, actually, and there's like 28 people. Um, we did once, at one point, have the record for the number of people at the top of the pops in London. Uh, but now, with, in the era of J-Lo and Puff Daddy, we've been... <laughs> yeah. they, they've got it, like, to over 50 now. <laughs> yes. um, we did it with, like, 27 people. Yeah, Missy Elliott loves doing that, sort of bringing 40 friends from America, you know what, flying to, them in. Oh, it's, it's a very expensive way of doing oh, no. things. It's Just very to travel with one friend is too much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly. Having fights with 40 people all the yeah. time. Yeah. I think you've got to look at pop music as a cre creative possibility. Not, and nowadays people look at it as a career. It may be something that, if you're lucky, leads you, get, gets you a job on television. You know, like the Spice Girls, you know, Emma Bunton presents a travel programme on, on uh, English <laughs> television. It. She's made it. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, God, it was a bit of a more interesting thing being in the Spice Girls, really. Um, and uh, it's a funny, I think, uh, maybe it's a generational difference. I, I don't know. And also people do things to be famous. I mean, fame is totally pointless. Um, I once said to Jerry Hallowell, you know, Jerry, you've got to be famous for something. Um, um, <laughs> not just like famous. Famous. I'm famous. Because if you're not famous for something, people will start to despise you. Yeah. Um, it's all air, isn't it? It's all air, and, it's, and, it, and the air will start to smell very bad. Oh. If, if, um, <laughs> 
if, if, if you're not famous for something. And I think that that is the thing, is to have, to be famous for achievements, to achieve things, to do new things, and then that's great if you're famous. Yeah. And uh, are you planning on a world tour? Is that true? Yes, we are. In the, we're going to do some dates in the summer. We're going to be back in Germany in June. And then I think we'll, I don't know quite when though, um, but I think in the autumn uh, we'll be starting a proper world tour. Super. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great. Thank you very much. Now we can all lie down. Now we can all lie down. <laughs>